why is the, the fact that your girlfriend wants to become your boyfriend an issue? What I just don't understand is you are talking about your whole happiness. The last two years of your life have been spent with this person happily. And you are willing or sounding like you're potentially willing to throw that away because of your identity. Now, I understand that everybody has their own identity and they need to relate to themselves in a way that they can function happily, etc. You know what I'm trying to say, I hope. What I am asking you, I'm not trying to tell you that you're wrong to identify as a lesbian. I mean, personally, I don't believe that. I don't. But I'm not trying to tell you that you're, like, wrong and you need to think like I do. I'm just asking you to maybe try it. I'm trying to ask you to ask yourself, what is it about being a lesbian that is so important to you? Because I think that your relationship with Nadia is probably the most important thing to you, or one of the most important things to you in your life. And so, I'm, I'm just wondering, like, I guess I just, I have trouble wrapping my head around the fact that, like, people need to give themselves labels, and, like, that you, like, feel the need to live by that label. Like, transition isn't like a, like a, bam, your girlfriend's not your boyfriend kind of process. Like, it happens slowly, and so, like, as physical parts of that person change, they happen so gradually if you're with that person every day that I don't think you're really going to notice it, and you're going to fall in love with those things, and you're going to get to be able to get used to those things as they're happening. Um, it's not just all of a sudden you're dating a man. But basically what I'm trying to say is I'm not trying to be rude and attack you here, which I feel like maybe that's probably what you're feeling like I'm doing. I just, I really want you to think because I feel like your video was like drastic and kind of like crazy and emotional and I, like that's just your personality. I do see that in your other videos. What I want to do now is I want to talk about love, what it means to love somebody. Um, you say that you love Nadia, that she is your everything, she is your person. So if that's the case... I don't understand how that's conditional. Like, if you really love somebody, it's unconditional. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to quote some of your video. Um, because I think this is really important. Alright, so there will be a little bit of paraphrasing. And I'm obviously going to change um, some things like... You're talking about abortion in this video, um, and I'm just going to kind of switch it around a little bit to suit the needs of this video. So, at 4.33 in the Love, Sex, and U-Hauls video, you said, and I quote, If you are in a relationship, you are not necessarily going to agree with everything that your partner does. So, that being said, I'm going to skip ahead. There's just a little, to 4.51, you said, if you don't support me, I'm still going to do them. And it's just going to put a strain on the relationship, especially if it's something big. So, what I want to ask you is, this is something, a decision that your girlfriend could potentially be making. I think we can classify it as a big decision. And so, I think what I want you to take from this quote right now is that... If you don't support her, it's probably going to happen either way if that's what she decides, right? Okay, so moving on. Um, if it's something big, you need to stand behind them because they're making a choice that's best for them. You may not personally agree with it, but whatever your personal stance on it is, whether you think abortion is going to send you straight to hell or you think it's okay, a woman's choice, it's her body, etc. That's what you said in the video. But um, for the purposes of this video, we'll say uh, being with a man. Wherever you fit, you are with this person for a reason. You quote-unquote love this person, so you need to be there and you need to support them and hold their hand and not think that you have any say because you don't. So I do think that you understand this concept. Uh, you made it clear in your video that you were afraid of your relationship ending. So um, I think you 
get that if this is what your girlfriend decides and you decide you can't deal with it, that it's over. I think you understand that. I don't need to put that in your face anymore. I'm not trying to be rude or hurtful. Especially in instances like this is your next sentence in the video um, where you talk about abortion. And so f for this, I'm saying especially in an instance where this is life-changing for someone. So at 6 minutes and 7 seconds, you say, you don't know what's led up to this. You don't know why, what reasons she has. So you don't know. I don't care how well you think you know your partner. Um, you have no idea. I don't even have any idea. Um, I'm lucky because the transgender relationship that I am in is very, like, we have very open communication. And so Toby has been uh, able to talk to me about a lot of things, um, a lot more than I would have ever anticipated. But even at that, I still feel like there are so many things that I probably don't know about, so many thoughts that are in his head, so many pieces of his life that led him to make the decision to transition that I could never know or understand the way that he does or somebody else that's been through this does. So I want you to think about what has led Nadia to come to this decision, okay? At 6 minutes and 23 seconds, you said, it's her decision. Her reasons are none of your business, and if you can't support that, you need to get out. End of story. I think that's self-explanatory. At 7 minutes and 19 seconds, you said, if you can't find it in your heart to accept the person you're with is their own person, then you need to back out and don't waste your time. Okay, so that's it for my quotes from your video. So basically what I'm trying to say here is I believe that you love this person and I believe that you want to be with this person. What I'm confused about is that maybe it isn't a long-term thing. Because I personally think that the way that your initial reaction was presented on YouTube shows me that the first thing that popped in your head was how is this going to affect me? And to me, that's that's wrong. Um, I don't think that's supportive or loving. I understand. I am not illegitimizing your feelings at all. I have had similar feelings off and on, sort of. I'm not saying that this is easy and that like any FTM girlfriend that is on here who isn't supportive um, and just like everybody else who says they'll do anything for their boyfriend, whatever. I'm not saying that that's wrong and I'm not saying that you can't be confused. But what I am concerned about is that that was your first thought. I don't know when I started having some sort of insecurities about Toby's transition, but I guarantee you that it took quite a few months before I ever showed those insecurities to him or felt them or voiced them because my first thought was, oh my goodness, I need to be supportive. Your girlfriend loves and trusts you enough that she came to you with this. And your reaction was probably really, really hurtful and nerve-wracking and not at all comforting and supportive like you yourself in other videos say that a person should be in a time like this. Maybe you need to dig down deep into you and think about what is going on with you what is going on with your identity that you are having such a hard time with this? Because if you love Nadia, then you guys can get through this. If you really, really do. But I'm afraid that your video just portrays like a really, really negative side that I don't 
think, despite the comments and the other video response, are people's initial reaction. And I think if that's your initial reaction, that's a step in the wrong direction as far as your relationship goes. Um, in any situation in life, when somebody's talking to you about them, your initial thought should not be, how does that affect me? That is very selfish. And I'm glad that you know where you stand and who you are. But I'm just wondering why why you're so hell-bent on being in this category when it means losing somebody you love over something like their gender identity. I don't know. I apologize. I feel like I've come off way more rude than I intended to be. Um, probably not explaining myself very well at all. I hope you understand that I'm not trying to personally attack you in this video. Um, and I am here if you want to talk about some of the positives and how things can progress. I have a history of working with transgender youth in, uh, through work and I have a history of knowing transgender people growing up. Um, where I did and the way I did and with who that I did. So if you have any questions, ask me. Like, I again, I apologize. I like I feel like I am coming off at like such a bitch. And I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'm just trying to understand your thought process because I was completely stunned when I saw your video. I have never seen a video like it. And I thought it was really strange to see in your other videos how much you advocate for um, like self-awareness and you know people in relationships being their own person so yeah I'm done you know, I hope maybe I was helpful or you learned something or something like that